Hi, this is Simon Upstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this snaky, slinky echo effect. So really quite simple to do, but there are some quite useful little tricks in here that I think you'll find interesting. So let's get going. OK, for this project, let's go with 1920-1080, a frame rate of 50 frames a second and a duration of 15 seconds. And I want this high frame rate because we want lots of samples to make our echoes smooth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and select the text tool and type out my text, make it nice and big, center align it, properties, reset this, come over here, just adjust that baseline a little bit so it's more centered up and actually maybe track it in just a little bit like that. Why not? OK, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to properties for this text and I'm going to open up the position and the rotation and I'm going to add an oscillate behavior to the X, Y and Z positions and the Z rotation. So I'll just do that very quickly. We want an oscillate behavior on each of those four parameters. So let's set them up. For our X position, we want a speed of 25. For our Y, we want an amplitude of 150 and a speed of 15. For our Z position, we want an amplitude of 250 and a speed of 20. And finally, for this Z rotation, let's go with an amplitude of 10 degrees. Speed of 10 is fine. So really, the point of this is just to get a nice sort of snaky movement like that. It's going to make this look interesting. You can choose whatever values you want for this to taste. OK, so then we're going to take this group and we're going to make a clone of it. Let's hide the original group. Let's take the clone. And let's come to Object and Replicate. So we're going to choose Line for the shape, and we're going to zero out those two X values. We're going to set the number of points to 350. We are going to enable reverse stacking, uh, and also let's choose Center for the start point. Let's come down here to the Color Mode and choose Over Pattern. And let's scroll down from the menu here and choose Rainbow. Then let's come down to the source frame offset and set that to one. And let's also set that scale end to zero. So now we have got this snaky result. Unfortunately, because I'm screen recording, I can't actually play this back for you, but it's going to look nice and smooth for you. So just note what happened if I disabled reverse stacking. That's not what I want at all. So that was why that was important to do there. So then what I want to do is take this clone layer and duplicate it. So that's the one that's been made from this original group here. So right click, duplicate. Let's drag this all the way up to the top so it's in a group of its own. Let's turn it back on again. And what this will do is give us a front face to our effect. And in actual fact, I don't want this to be white. And I think I'm just going to switch the blend mode to subtract like that. Now we're getting this sort of not very nice edging here. And I'm going to fix that by coming to filters, stylize and min max. And I'm going to set that value to four, the radius. And it just shrinks that in and gives us this nice outline there on the front. So then what I think I want to do is I want to add a indent filter to this replicator. So filters, stylize and indent. Let's set the softness all the way up. Let's set the brightness all the way up. Let's set the ambient down to around 0.1. This highlight sharpness let's set to around 15. And then let's also just mix it back. So 50% of that. And then I'm just going to add a color and color adjustments. And what I want to do is knock out a lot of this color. So I'm going to go with negative 80 for the saturation like that. And let's just add some color of our own. Let's go with 90 for the highlights warmth. And let's take the midtones warmth, turn it all the way down. Shadows warmth, turn that all the way down as well. So that is basically the effect. And it's looking nice and silky because we've got that high frame rate, as I mentioned. So anyway, hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. 